Just a quick rant about the sale of small businesses. Over the last year or so, I've noticed that in my area there are lots of businesses closing down, or are up for sale. So I did a bit of an investigation online to see how much they were going for. I figured, I don't really like working for a boss, so maybe there's a business opportunity out there that can provide my family and I with a stable income, but without the worry of a boss or a manager breathing down my neck. I imagine setting up a successful business, teaching my children all the ins and outs, and then ultimately giving them the keys when they are older. But after doing my research, I think the whole thing is a bit of a game. Read con. First of all, why are so many businesses up for sale? I can only imagine it's because the businesses are not successful. Either they are mismanaged and losing money, or there are simply not enough customers in these current economic times. I think the latter is more likely to be true. I see in shopping centres endless numbers of nail shops, massage parlours, and mobile phone case and repair shops. They can't all be making money, can they? I think maybe once upon a time, one of them used to be successful, so everyone jumped on the bandwagon and tried to mimic them. But does one shopping centre really need seven massage parlours? How many massages at $70 an hour are people really getting? Anyway, I found a business for sale website and noticed that there were lots of businesses for sale in my area for less than $50,000. Some were even as cheap as $15,000 all in. I couldn't believe it. I could give up the 9 to 5 rat race and become my own business owner with just a small startup fee. During my fossicking, I found a business which owned 10 of those arcade claw machines. You know, the ones with all the toys inside which people try to grab with a joystick controlled claw. My job would entail going around to each machine, making sure they're all in working order, restocking them with toys, and then collecting thousands of dollars of profits. It sounded too good to be true. For some reason though, I assumed that all these machines would be in major shopping centres, but boy, was I wrong. I went and talked to the current owner, and he offered to take me on a ride along. Then I realised the enormity of the task. The machines weren't located in conveniently placed major shopping centres. Not at all. They were scattered all throughout the local region. There was one at a pub 100 kilometres away. There was one at a petrol station 100 kilometres in another direction. There was one in a small town convenience store 80 kilometres away, and so on. All in all, it took about 12 hours to drive between all the machines deal with any maintenance issues, and collect any change. And I mean change. Some machines may only have 20 or 30 dollars in any given week. The cost of the petrol alone would have soon made the whole operation unprofitable. The guy was old, and obviously didn't have any heart in doing it anymore. I can understand why. The amount of effort involved just to keep these machines working was just not worth the pittance sum that he was collecting. Of course, he told me that some weeks were better than others. Over the holiday period, you could get maybe a couple of thousand dollars a week. But you also had to travel more in order to restock toys and fix any issues. In the end, I decided that the claw business was not for me, and looked for something else. I began to notice a trend on the ad sites. They all made claims about the business like, well established, steady income, work for yourself, etc. They also often stated that the current owner is reluctant to sell, but needed to due to ongoing health issues, have fallen pregnant, or are committed elsewhere. And that's when I realised, selling a business is a con. Think about it. If someone owned a business that was earning them a few hundred thousand dollars a year with very little effort, would they really be selling? Think of the McDonald's store in the CBD that always has hundreds if not thousands of customers a day. I never see that store up for sale. But the little bakery next door that barely gets any customers is always up for sale with claims such as, be your own boss, real growth potential, and fantastic on-site store location. It's all a con. If a business is successful, it wouldn't be for sale. Yes, I could buy my own business tomorrow and be my own boss. But I'd probably end up being my own boss lining up at the doll queue every fortnight. No thank you. I'm not buying into something that has solid growth potential, conveniently located with ample parking, well-established loyal customers, potential for seven-figure annual sales, owners selling due to health emergency. I call bullshit on that. The game of selling businesses is a con.